You all know, all the people in Britain involved know about the situation, what happens to people of the majority of religion of people who are in here, the Orthodox faith, where they cannot, as somebody said a little bit, start the grieving process. The grieving process has been going for 36 years. That's the reality of it. And it will go on and on and on until there eventually is some kind of a solution. And doing a few autopsies and doing a few excuses for what should be happening is not really good enough. And we have to, we have to push really hard on. I'm really uh, amazed about the speeches he's done. There are a lot of new MPs, not from my party, who have turned him here tonight. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to, the, to this term in because some of them said some fantastic things tonight. And believe me, I and I know David will be trying to keep them to the, those promises. Because I tell you, it's been a tough task for all the years that Tom Cox was in, in here before me and all those since to today. You know, the reality is we're going to have a tough time because we've got to break that chain which is called the Middle East Southern Asian European desk. The reality, Mary's in here, she knows all about that, she liaises with some of them and she tries to get the best for the Friends of Cyprus in the process. But the reality is it's self-interest that is uh, at the forefront of all of that which they uh, decide to go through at that particular part of the Foreign Office. So colleagues, can I uh, just uh, deal with one of the matter before I conclude? I do believe that America's got to play a part in this, and I do believe that there is a sense of willing in Washington at the present time. Last uh, summer when John Prescott and I were in the United States, we managed to meet uh, uh, Joe Biden and uh, people from the offices of the President of the United States. And believe me, Joe Biden is convinced on this case. In fact, in his recent uh, visit to Europe, he actually uh, mentioned it quite specifically uh, and not generally. You know, he actually said that there had to be some kind of a solution and America would do what it could to see that uh, uh, Turkey, if, if it could become members of the European Union, it would do what it could to, to join into that family. But he said without that, and without some resolution from the government of Turkey, then they would not help them in, in ways that they had done in the past. And that is the way, that is the way for us to go forward. Last year I found myself in the most unfortunate circumstances of being the chairman of the uh, uh, Council of Europe Environment Committee, which had decided to make Ankara the, 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 the city in Europe to receive the environmental prize. It just so had to, be, had to be done when I had to be chairman of that particular committee in the Council of Europe. And nevertheless, not being able to get out of that, I went to an Ankara, the place I'd never ever been to before, and actually put the case for Europe and put the, uh, the prize in their hands. But not without saying to them, yes, there may be a place for Turkey in Europe. Because when you look at it, Europe should be part and parcel of Cyprus is in the European family. But unless they get their act together in two ways, firstly and foremostly, is about Cyprus. If you do not get off that island, remove your troops, and stop actually ordering the laws of that part of the island from Turkey, then there's no place within Europe. And the second thing is, you have to come up with the same values and laws that we have for our citizens in Europe. And without you doing that, we don't want you in our family, and that's the reality. So, so, friends, uh, to conclude, I believe we've got a little bit of an opportunity here. There's been a lot of new members elected to, to Parliament, not of my particular political persuasion, but have shown tonight that they are willing to give it a go. That's the reality. And I've been very, very pleased about that. Because before, we had people like David and a handful of others on that side of the chamber who worked. Now we've got more. Next week, David is going to take over, hopefully, as chair of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, Association uh, Committee in Parliament. And we'll, the Labour side will go to the vice chairmanship and so on. He is going to lead that particular group you know, on, on the floor of the House. And I believe we can do many things over the coming months and the coming years. Be assured of this, not only because uh, Jim and I are Labour, 
Not only because of that, all of us at this table tonight who have spoken to you, who will do everything in our endeavours to make this government, like our one prior to that, live up to its promises it put in its <coughs> own agenda. We will do that and hopefully we'll get success. Thanks very much. Thank you. for a five-year term and I think a lot of us here were looking for a very public move from that new government. It's already been talked about uh, by the speakers so far. Um, phrases like confidence building measures, we've heard this before. Uh, the Right Honourable Andy Love mentioned that maybe we should get Turkey to publicly state where they stand and I agree with a move of that nature. But it strikes me there's an opportunity for the newly installed UK government, ideally in conjunction with the US and possibly the EU and possibly the UN, but to issue a very public milestone <coughs> statement. A milestone, I mean there's a timestamp to, to publicly declare that they would like to see certain progress made during the five-year term. Uh, to give you an example, it could be said that by the end of 2011, we'd like to see a complete resolve to the missing persons. It could be by mid-term, which will be the end of 2012, Nicosia is no longer a divided capital. And there could be some comments, uh, milestone comments, about the end of the five-year term. Uh, Turkey to have opened up their ports for free trade or the transfer of Famagusta. These are just examples, but it's actually putting a timestamp to certain events. And hopefully it will try and invite Turkey to come out and publicly respond to that. And I think we talk about all these events, but there's never a timestamp put on them. And I think there's an opportunity for the new government, embarking upon a new five-year term, to actually put some dates. Can I just take one or two more? 